Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius October 28, 2022. You're ready to get moving today, but mostly to get talking and connecting. You want to solve problems, and you're motivated to make improvements. It's a good time for learning, teaching, socializing, communicating easily and successfully, and pursuing your special interests. Confidence that all will be well coupled with faith in yourself and those around you keeps you on top of things. However, do keep in mind that some people aren't as quick to catch on, so watch that you don't talk ahead of yourself, especially later today. What you say has real impact right now you might be a source of inspiration. You're the main event on the romantic platter today. As mental Mercury, our planet of the mind and communication, dances through your solar first house of identity your zodiac sign he will catch the lusty gaze of mighty Mars, the god of sex and passion. They will link in a provocative and dirty dance, making sure that you're ready to unleash your charm, charisma, and magnetism. If single, today is a perfect time to send some sexy words to a crush who you'd like to seduce. Suggest a spontaneous dinner, happy hour, or hook up and see if you've snatched their interest. A surprise dalliance, meetup, or rendezvous could really spice up your weekend. Where do you want to go? It might feel like the world is in the palm of your hand when Mercury in your sign trines Mars in Gemini. The airy trine is mentally focused on your professional development and journey, suggesting that you may be more attuned to a few different avenues in your career path. Mars is ready to pursue its curiosities, but Mercury needs time to deliberate on the best course of action. Although this transit is not necessarily great for commitments, it is useful for exploring your options. Play around with different ideas or avenues. Two days after an eclipsing new moon, the moon is wrapping up its most important visit to your income sector this year with a friendly aspect to Neptune on the job front. A day before Jupiter is due to retrograde back in for a rare double dip visit to your work sector and with the Sun and Venus just getting the most potentially lucrative weeks of 2022 started, this is a taste of things to come. Keeping to yourself is not recommended during the next few days. You may experience feelings of depression if you spend too much time by yourself. Try to include other people in your daily health regimen to create a fuller sense of good in your life. Invite a friend or co-worker to attend a virtual yoga class with you. Some deep breathing and a few laughs are just what the doctor ordered. Remember to drink water whenever you exercise to help wash away the toxins that are released. Don't go into battle with your head down because today's vibrations will ask you to be above things and stand back from events a bit. Don't try to accelerate the tempo, this is a day of relaxation, there's nothing you can do about it. Your family and friends will certainly be glad that you realize this. Don't be too impatient to love or be loved, everything will come in time. In a case of perfect timing, the moon not only returns to your communication sector during Jupiter's last full day in your relationship sector but into a friendly aspect. With no planetary activity on the communication front until the Sun and Venus return next month, this is a last-minute chance to not only ensure the communication lines are open but with Jupiter in retrograde motion, to give your relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. In a case of perfect timing, the Moon not only returns for its last visit to your communication sector before Venus, the planet of love returns but just as Jupiter is spending his last full day in your relationship sector before retrograding back out tomorrow. A friendly aspect will bring a last-minute chance to give your relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. Our eyes in the sky. There is a ton of sensitive energy floating around the skies today. Be extremely kind to yourself in general. Yesterday's conjunction between the sun and moon in watery Scorpio hasn't ended. In fact, it might be a good time to process a lot of things simultaneously. The moon is still in Scorpio. In general, you can see your life as like ocean waves washing you back to shore. Think of yourself floating out to sea. If you try to swim against the tide, you'll feel the most resistance. The key here is to surrender, 
let go and see what comes up for you. For those dealing with tough psychological matters, it's important to schedule some kind of therapy session or make sure you block off certain portions of your day away from others if you can. For those who feel like they're continually rocked by the pressures of society, don't be afraid to speak up for yourself. Everyone is feeling more sensitive than usual right now. If you're true to your heart, someone else could also feel inspired to be true to theirs as well. These are aspects of mutual receptivity, so you aren't just taking care of yourself, you're letting the universe know that you deserve to be taken care of too. In the morning, the moon opposes Uranus in Taurus, provoking emotional upsets. Surprise events derail the start of our day, forcing us to be flexible. However, with the moon in fixed Scorpio, that is the last thing we want to do. We might take the commotion personally as if we are being specifically attacked. The best course of action now is to adapt to the interruption without letting it knock us off balance. If we do, important insights will be revealed. If we don't, we will be fighting the universe when we could be learning from it. This is a wonderful feeling, as long as you keep yourself active, it can quickly turn gluttonous and lazy if you are not careful. Short, intense workouts are favored so that you can burn off the steam that naturally builds up throughout the day without excuses. Stay away from heavy foods like bread, dairy, and red meat. Enjoy fresh produce, soups and legumes for energy that won't slow you down. Financial matters and career opportunities can come back around in your favor because the solar energies encourage the settling of some karmic affairs. From your vantage point, there are plenty of planetary negotiations going on. Following this, the moon squares Saturn in Aquarius. Those with influence, such as family members or bosses, might stand at cross-purposes with us now. We are commanded to follow orders or submit to their will. Because of the pressure to conform, or in reaction to strict discipline, we become reclusive. Avoid letting dark thoughts haunt your consciousness. And especially try not to blame others for your current mood. Don't make someone else a villain or turn yourself into a martyr. 